In an interesting way, you know, all of us as IT support companies, our product really is our people. And so the team is one of the most important things uh, in any of our businesses. And for me, uh, it really is the most important thing. And so, you know, how do we as uh, IT business owners really grow a rock solid team, but also protect uh, the team that we have and, um, and, you know, make this the best organization and place for them to do their best work. So I had shot a video a while back really on growing the team uh, and I think there's a lot of uh, important tips and tricks in there but um, you know the biggest takeaway for us and, and what we've stood by is that we're always hiring and so we're always you know recruiting always taking in job applications because you never know when you're gonna find um, some of the best people out there um, but when it comes to growing and protecting that team, I think one of the most important things that I've seen is people are looking for upward mobility, right? They, they need something of an ascension plan or where, not only where the organization is going, but where can they go, right? And, you know, how can they grow their skill set and, you know, become a more integral part of the organization? And, and clearly, they also need to know and understand the vision of the company. One of the other things that I've really noticed in our team of, you know, more engineering mindset problem solvers is, you know, very specific one-to-one -one praise, right? Uh, they're a bit skeptical and so, you know, they, you know, if you're going to praise, make sure you bring something that's direct and honest and straightforward and really appreciating them in doing, you know, that one specific thing and you know, do that kind of in private. Again, you know, that engineering mindset, a little more shy, a little more skeptical. And so uh, that kind of praise though will um, really help you know, empower them to know that you've, you've got confidence in them, you're trusting of them, and uh, that they're doing a good job. And again, back to you know, the vision of the organization. I was reminded even this week uh, in sharing our team vision, um, a new uh, team member, recently new team member came back and said, hey, you know, I really appreciate that. It gives me a sense of you know, where it is that we're actually going. I think another one of the very important areas to watch for, especially that we're in a customer service industry is, kind of that challenging, frustrated, maybe pissed off or angry customer. Uh, and there's a line there. And I think when it crosses over and it's affecting your team, then as the leader, it's my job to step up and step in and go to that client and say, hey, look, you know, we operate on you know, mutual respect of each other and patience and things like this. And if we're willing to show up patient and understanding and empathetic with you, then we need you to do the same kind of thing. And there's no place for, you know, swearing or cursing out one of our team members and the team knowing that they're gonna be protected. You know, again, that's super important to them. You know, in the long run, this has helped us with tenure, right? It's helped us with um, the ascension of team members, right? You know, not only are they staying for a long time, but they're learning a lot and they're growing and they're doing, you know, more for us as an organization. Uh, and a good rock solid team encourages good rock solid work out of other good rock solid team members. So good is good is good uh, with all of these kinds of things.